Hey, so this is gonna, hey y'all, so this is my vlog um, that I'm gonna piece together from like a bunch of random ass clips of videos that I've shot uh, throughout my days, the last month or so. And um, when I loaded them into my video editor, I put them in backwards. So it's gonna all be in reverse order. So, you know, just fucking figure it out, whatever. In, enjoy the random flow of events here. It's it's gonna be all in reverse. It's gonna be weird. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> This is going to be all over the place. It's going to be the most random YouTube video you've ever watched. Welcome to Living with ADD. I did not plan this video out at all. It's completely fucking... So, enjoy. Hey guys, it is Friday. We made it through the week. I just got off of... Um, a booking where I was shooting. I've been shooting Western wear boots all week and with some friends at a studio in Fort Worth called Low Town Studios. Check them out on Instagram and stuff. They're great. Um, yeah, and it's Friday. I'm dancing again tomorrow night. Go go dancing at Clover Club from 11 to 2. And um, then I can breathe for a minute. But yeah, been a good busy week on set. Sorry I didn't really like shoot anything BTS that like, I don't know. It's weird to be in people's face with the camera. Stew. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the YouTubing thing. Um, but yeah, I had a good week, just busy. And um, shooting shoes is like a lot of like little, it's, it's easy because it's like all down shots and you're just kind of moving your feet around. But like a lot of times you have to stand like, you know, on one leg or balance or, pose in like really awkward ways. So like we'll use muscles in your feet and legs like you didn't even know you had. <laughs> so right now, like my hip is bugging me and some other things. So I'm just gonna rest a little tonight. It's Friday night, I will not be turning up. I'll be drinking water and chilling. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of gonna be uneventful and then recover throughout Saturday during the day and make it to my dance gig Saturday and rock out with my cock out there <laughs> um and yeah that's really it nothing like major to report this week really just been working and um you know making a little money so good to be always good to be on set I do like you know I like my job I like working so um and I, I like working with new people in a new environment you know bouncing around from this studio to that studio or whatever like everybody is cool but it's like every set is just a little bit different so it's fun to it's just it's good to switch it up. You get bored if you're in the same place for too long, right? So um, it's, yeah, this is a, a new crew for me and I'm, I'm excited to be working with them. And it's been good and lots of laughs on set this week and just, um, yeah. <laughs> so a uh, week in the life of a model. I don't even know, this vlog's literally gonna be all over the place. So um, I just recorded like whatever the fuck, whenever the fuck this, this week or the last two weeks or so. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna throw it all together. So yeah. I made a spider friend in my car this morning. hooping in it as a super girl um, at an old studio that I actually shot this show called Murder Made Me Famous where I played uh, murderer Jody Arias <laughs> um, so I'm like kind of bracing myself to be flooded with like old memories um, from when I shot here last because that was kind of an intense program uh, to shoot an intense role to play and I remember crying a lot when it when I was going through it so um, yeah <laughs> i'm headed back to that studio this will be a much more upbeat fun shoot and um anyway i'm excited to go back it's a cool studio and it's not too far from me so yeah and then i have a dance kick tonight Unfortunately, the discount only applies to parents and spouses she was my fiance we were gonna get married oh my god okay um so it's friday now i did not record anything from um, from my runway show last night, but it went great. Um, <laughs> it was good to be back. I haven't done runway in a while, like since pre-COVID. Um, so I, yeah, I got to see like a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a long time. And it was just, you know, so um, it was good. And 
I wound up running into a friend and went out. I'm a little hungover right now. That's why I'm like, <laughs> but um, Roomba's going again. Nova's keeping an eye on it for me because he's a good boy. <laughs> he's just been watching it like for an hour now. <laughs> he is very... Make sure it doesn't do anything bad, buddy. Okay, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, sorry, I didn't record anything for my. Once I got to the runway show, you know, it was just like. And working and talking to everybody, and I just. I don't want to, like, shove a camera in people's face. That's weird, but. I wish I would have, like, recorded something, but, like, yeah. Anyway. Hold on. This place has some cool art outside, though. Hold on. Late. It's hot. I suck. I feel bad. It's kind of not my fault though. I left for like a lot of time. <sighs> wow. So the entrance that I normally go in, go in at this job is fucking blocked off by cones. And I'm now almost 10 minutes late. So we're doing great. Uh, the universe is totally working in our favor. Take the word, flip it, acrobatic. Got a little time and a lot of time. Of course, even though I left like 20 minutes earlier than my map said I should have, I am still on track to run fucking late. I made a wrong turn, um, I hit like every red light, and the universe, it just really feels like it's cock blocking me right now. But jeans, cost a lot, cost a lot, look at my jeans, they feel like not, so I'm okay, since you're falling now, how they not. Oh yeah, I also have some like, <laughs> moisturizing foot socks on, you leave them on for like 30 minutes, which is about as long as I have before my book. Before I need to leave so yeah while, I, while I'm getting ready I'm wearing those and I'm uh, making my feet softer <laughs> okay so it's like 3 20 I have 40 minutes to curl my hair get some foundation on and get out the door um, to my job for tonight and yeah I've just been cleaning I made lunch um, <laughs> uh, laundry all that shit <laughs> still in progress but yeah, I'm about to curl my hair and fucking get out the door, so. Woo! Okay, so this fucking Roomba keeps getting stuck under my couch because this fabric's dangling, so I'm just gonna call this fucking fabric off, yeah? <laughs> Not something I expected to be doing today. Okay, so now I'm packing a second bag for my other job. This bag's really cool, so I'm actually gonna show it to you for a second. I think I've talked about it, but I never, I didn't actually set it up. So, and first of all, I have this bottom case that it's like hard shell a little bit. I need to remember to put a link to the bag in here. So I'll put usually like my shoes or items that I don't wanna get crushed or items that are heavier at the bottom. Wow, it's already really dirty. <laughs> okay, in this bottom part. Then, it's also like a zip through, so if you don't wanna unlock this or open that for some reason, you can also just make, like expand that. So that's cool. This is from a company called Eco Gear. Okay, so I actually just realized that there's, so you've got like a little slot, a little like, hard shell thing that you put this guy through, this pull through, and then you unzip the lining at the bottom here, and there's a second little slot you put it in, a little holster, and that makes it a little sturdier. wardrobe there or whatever, um, which is uh, the case for a lot of jobs. This makes it really convenient. Also, it helps me like, well, first of all, you can display everything 
for your client and they can see what you brought very easily because sometimes they don't have a rack for you to hang your stuff on even if you did bring it in hangers or on hangers. Um, right? So yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish I had found this 10 years ago. It's pretty sturdy. It can hold a decent amount of stuff. Um, when you put it through both of those slots, it's it's in there. Um, very quick to put up and down. What else, what else, what else? Oh, and then it helps me when I'm getting home because before like, I would like just probably take everything off the hangers so that I could like fit more in my bag um, when I was taking stuff to jobs. This way I can fit, this is a pretty big bag. Like I can fit everything in it usually. And sometimes I have to take a second little bag, but Usually I can fit everything I need for one shoot in here. And um, I don't have to take them off the hanger. So when I come home, all I have to do is hang shit back up. It's not a big pile of clothes that I have to rehang and hang back up and organize and like on, like it's, you, you know, it's already on hangers. So anything that, it, you know, I just, it makes cleanup so much easier and faster when I get back. So yeah, loving it. I love that every side has a pocket, like that's amazing. So yeah. So yeah, I'm packing for this music video. Shoot. I'm gonna be hula hooping as like a superhero. Um, I'm not sure what the band's name is or the song. It's not out yet, so I guess I shouldn't talk about it anyway. <laughs> And if you're worried about like wrinkles on your clothes or your, your client or whoever like not having a steamer, they do make little baby steamers. I wanna say they're like 20 bucks, but they might be more, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you can buy mini steamers to take and that's pretty convenient as well. See like that was a pretty decent amount of clothes and I didn't even, that doesn't even fill half the bag. Like I can still put so much more in here. I think for this shoot, this is good. So, so. Yeah, and anyway, it's also on rollers. So now I'm basically just going to, <laughs> once again, clean my house. I swear, it's all I fucking do. And it's never clean. Never fucking clean. Never. But I did just invest in a Roomba again. Because our floor is always fucking disgusting. No matter how much I sweep, I can't seem to walk on it. So, this is my first time starting her. What should we name? Well, I don't know. I guess her name's already Roomba. Rachel the Roomba? Rach, I don't know. It's not doing anything. Do I just hit it again? I didn't read the instructions. Oh shit. Oh my god, yes. Don't be afraid of robots. Look at this shit. No, but what is it? Do you remember when we used to have a Roomba when you were a baby? We were in a little apartment, but we had a Roomba. DJ Roomba. <laughs> okay, what's up you guys? I, oh fuck. 
So I put my bangs in a fucking thing so that I could cut them. And now I cannot find any scissors. I have like six pairs of scissors somewhere around the house. I can't find anything to cut them with. And because I'm like ADD, I'm all over the place this morning. <laughs> um, so like, I'm unpacking from a previous booking and I'm trying to throw all my shoes and my brings and shit that I need for a little runway show tonight um, into this bag and get ready for that. What did they even, hold on. Boots, bras, jeans, socks. Boots, bras, jeans, socks. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to pack that shit up. I need to find scissors. What is today? It's Mon- uh, No, it's not Monday. <laughs> Girl, it's Thursday. Uh, <laughs> August 26th. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> I thought I had a pair of shearing scissors in here, but like I do not fucking know where they went. Okay, good. I already have some of the shit I need. Jeans. Excellent. Um, this is just like any given day of my life, packing and unpacking a bunch of shoes and clothes and shit. So yeah, welcome to the never-ending mess and like chaos that is the clothes in my room. <laughs> It's part of why I have so many clothes too. It's like, you never know what you're gonna need on set or for a casting, right? Like one casting may want you to be yourself or be like a hip trend. I can't fucking sit here like this, this is ridiculous. Be like a hip, fun, like trendy, you know, young looking person. And then the next might want me to look like a mom or a businesswoman or uh, whatever. And so, yeah, you just have to have all kinds of clothes, whether you like to dress in that style or not, because you never know what the audition is gonna call for, right? And also, um, if you are an actor or whatever, you do anything on screen um, or with filming things, then you know uh, that generally like um, patterned items and st well, particularly stripes are apparently not good for being on camera because it like, the way that it interacts with the whatever it's just not it's not ideal so if you go to castings auditions i've always been told to wear or to an actual shoot um that you want to wear solid colors so um i have a lot of just like plain basic really uh boring solid a lot of basics um and actually i need to have more basics in my closet than i do because a lot of this is like ravey like young party girl shit and I'm like 33 now so I don't know but I don't maybe I don't look it so I can still pull it off that's what I tell myself anyway it's you can always dress however you want I'll be 80 and still wearing a little crop tops fuck all that fuck you know I'll, I want to be like what's that girl um that woman the rave the older lady that does uh, anyway um blah 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 Okay, boots, bras. You always gotta have nude bras. I'm gonna pop a push-up bra in there as well, cause you never know. Especially with a Western wear client, sometimes they want more boob, but like conservatively, you know. Um, I think they want actual cowboy boots this time, not, not necessarily funky boots. Where are my actual cowboy boots? It's organized chaos at the moment of my life. <laughs> These are my Tacovas. They are made in Austin. I love them. And then I have ooh, these old Ariats that I've had since I was like 16 or something. Those are the only two cow. I live in Texas. I'm from here, but these are the only two cowboy boots I own. And these I got for free. They were like supporting a movie that I worked on for free and um i got paid partly in this pair of boots which has been a great pair of boots like i really like these boots and I'm, I'm not even trying to sell something here i just they've been great they go with everything i like how they feel i like how they fit um i can wear them like with just all kind of shit like they're they're surprisingly like they're such a simple boot that i can put it with stuff that i wouldn't expect to even be putting it with and it's still cute um god and the more i wear them the better they feel right the more they they get adjusted to your foot 
Okay, so boots, bras, jeans. How many pairs of jeans is that? One, two, three. That should be fine. Um, I don't really have. I need. Uh, I need to up my jean game too. I do not have good jeans right now. I have like three, two pairs, and I, I put a little weight on my ass, so <laughs> some of my pants don't fit now. Um, what did I say? <laughs> Boots. Bras, jeans, socks. I miss my socks. Okay, and then I am gonna throw some more boots in there. I like to take, I always fill my bag all the way up. Like if I can take more options, I take more options. I don't care if the bag's heavy. I'm always gonna put as much as I can in there. Um, Cause you just never know like what you're gonna need, especially at a runway show or whatever. Like you just do not know. I don't care if it's a big show or a small show. Like I take a lot, so. Fuck these, they're not really cowboy boots at all, but these are probably better. They have a little fringe. Sure, let's throw those bitches in there. And I need socks. Oh, and they also said white shoes. White tennis shoes, sneakers, I think. That's what she said. I don't really have, well, I have these. Yeah, I do, I have a white shoe. It's right here in front of my face. What am I talking about? I don't know that it's really that cute. It's probably not the style they're asking for, but. It's what I've got. See, it's like, it's crazy with this job because no matter fucking how much shit you accumulate over the years to put in your bag for clients, you're still the next week, you're gonna go out and get an email and they need something that you don't have. It's insane, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I swear, like people think I just like wanna buy all this shit and like, yeah, I do. But also it's like all come to me because like, oh, this shoot needed this or this needed that. And I'm like, I'll just buy it. It's fine. You know, or sometimes they'll offer to like, uh, I think like one time I've had someone offer to, to pay for something. But generally it's just like, oh, if you have this, you need to bring this. These are your brings. So um, I wound up with a lot of shit. Not complaining. Love all my, I love, I'm, I love to have clothes and shoes. I am very girly in that way. Um, definitely if I could have more I would there's kind of no end to that as much as I don't like owning a bunch of shit and feeling weighed down by keeping and possessing and hoarding it um, you know it's it's fun to have stuff we live in a material world I guess so here we are I wonder if these maybe would work for I do not want to wear anyway I'll put this in here this isn't really a cowboy boot but Give, give a little option. Okay, that's all the shoes I can fit in there. And I gotta go get socks. Um, but yeah, anyway, just a moment in my life of of getting ready for a thing. Which any any of us gal, guys and gals in town that, that are in this line of work, which is a lot of us, um, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we do. Ooh, I wonder if they, I wonder if they would want these. <laughs> Probably not. These are fun. These are only 20 bucks. They look like they maybe cost them more. Well, they kind of, I don't know. They could look cheap or expensive, depending on how you look at it, I guess. How It's, it's all how you wear it. Cape Robin. I do not even know that brand. But anyway, somehow wound up with those. I need to shoot these still actually I've not really I've used them on a sh couple of things but like not really and that's that's what I bought them for you know okay um mom, 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 mom. what else socks 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 uh nude underwear mm. okay so I'm gonna finish packing this shit and then I have that's for a runway show tonight little western wear runway show and then saturday i have a hula hoop gig for a music video and i need to put together like a super woman superhero costume kind of thing they said a red skirt so i bought a red skirt see again they needed something i do not have so even out of all this shit i had to like go buy a red skirt um but I'm excited about it. It's a score. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little excited about it because I can twirl in it with the hoop and not be like overtly, whatever, like showing ass. Because I don't think this kind of music video is. It's like a rock song. I don't think that they want it that sexy. 
So yeah, hopefully the score is like a good option for them. Um, but yeah, I charged my hoops already. So yeah, I'm basically just packing up for all my gigs <laughs> the next few days, um, my weekend gigs. And then Saturday night I'm dancing, go-go dancing at Clover Club again, which has become a cool place. I love doing it. My feet just like, I, w I, I gotta figure something out so my feet can like tolerate doing wearing the heels so much and and dancing I, I don't know if i just need to like go get foot rubs you know go get massages more like spend money on that regularly or ice buckets or what i need to be doing but i'm gonna figure it out because i like doing the gigs um I feel free when i'm dancing you know and well, it's a definitely like a healthy outlet um okay and then also need to pack for next week and book for a few days in fort worth they're probably gonna want a lot of the same shit that's already in this bag <laughs> anyway day in the life um hi stella stella's helped me like usual and then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna need some breakfast that's real exciting real exciting so anyway normal day in the life of a model i guess And I get to see a friend tonight that I haven't seen in a while. She actually took Stella's sibling, her name's Sierra, she's another model in town, and she took Stella, when Stella's mom had babies in our bathroom, we found homes for three of them and we kept the mom and we kept Stella. And um, <laughs> her brother, Taco, went to go live with Sierra. So I'll get to go ask how Taco's doing. Yeah. All your brothers and sisters are doing so good. I think Taco has some other friends too. Okay, nobody wants to see your butthole. This is that. All right. Anyway, um, I don't know. I got. I come on here to make like do these videos, and I'm just like, who cares what I'm doing? You know? Why am I recording this? <laughs> but maybe somebody you know is interested. So. And it's kind of just fun to, it's like a journal. Like, I don't know. I didn't really ever think about like being on YouTube. Guys, why do I always look so fucking crazy when I'm on here? I swear I look good sometimes. Um, I just don't care. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was saying. God, ADD. Oh, that it's like, it's like fucking um, journaling. It's like live journaling, but you're just like word vomiting out of your mouth the whole time. It's fun. Why have I not vlogged before all this? Why did I not think to do that at all? I think it's more like it's scary to put yourself out to the world and be criticized or attract any kind of attention, actually. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's cool. We're getting over it. It's fine. Uh, until later. I dropped off some disposable cameras at CVS a while back and um, when I walked out I realized that I actually didn't pay for them to be developed and so I'm gonna go <laughs> see if there's this they still exist if it's ready I don't know what's up guys uh, it's August 23rd Monday I am trying to figure out what I'm doing with this day this next vlog is going to be all over the fucking place. It's just, going to, it's just going to be... I meant to like record all week last week when I was on set and stuff. And it just kind of didn't really... I don't know. I'm being awkward about like recording and being like, Ooh, I'm YouTubing when I'm like around other people or on set. Because I don't want to be annoying, you know? Or like, oh, she's a YouTube. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's Monday. We're going to call this Mask, Mask Monday now. We got Tarot Tuesday. Mask Monday. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay. Um, this is an Indian, that Indian clay mask stuff that like is sold everywhere. I've used it for years. I just, um, it's pretty, it's really cheap and it's a lot. You get a lot of powder. Like that thing will last you forever. Um, and it, 
I don't usually put it on with a brush, but actually this is quite nice. Normally I'm just like <laughs> slopping it on with my fingers, you know. Um, but I just mix it with some, I let my water in my faucet get really hot. And then I just mix a little powder and slap it on my face. Um, not an esthetician, so I couldn't really tell you exactly what it does, but <laughs> we'll read the label here in a second. Um, I know when I take it off, my skin feels, well, I, I think it like, it definitely brings like the, your blood like to the surface of your skin, which is probably good. Like improved circulation has got to be good, right? Um, Cause as it dries, obviously it hardens. Oh. Maybe this is not the best method. <laughs> It just feels so like right using a brush though like it almost feels professional <laughs> i want to say that this whole jar of this stuff is like under 15 bucks i'll have to look up the exact price you can get it like anywhere though like target amazon walmart all the places um I'm sure loads of more people carry it. It, it seems to be everywhere. And um, I don't know, I, I, I'm i curious um, if you're like a skincare professional or guru or whatever, what you guys think of this product. <clears throat> I've mostly seen good reviews. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone really hate on it. Now that doesn't mean it's like the best thing ever out there for your skin, I don't, I don't know. But um, I feel like I enjoy using it. It can be a bit of a mess when you're like <laughs> cleaning it off of you because it's just like chunky um, and it goes all down your shower and shit. Okay, let's just like really slap some on there. Oh fuck, mm. shit's going everywhere. I think I need, I think I need my hands now. I think the brush is like not. <laughs> Other people do these like perfect, beautiful, like beauty videos and I'm just over here like, yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try my best. Okay, let's get the rest of this. There's like a shit ton here. It'll stick. Come on, thick boy. Stick on there. Ooh, it's a real thick boy. All right, well, maybe not. Here we go, here we go. What, Stella? What's the matter, boo? Okay, yeah, anyway. You get the idea. Slap that shit on your face. Real mass slap. ball or whatever like a separate ball obviously do it. I just like mix my shit up in my lid and I fucking you know like I pour the water hot water in there and then I do it all in there and like just call it a day and then when I'm done I rinse the lid out and I put it back on okay so yeah there's a lot in there still I've had this for at least a year already Okay, so Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Version 2 Indian Healing Clay, world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing, natural, natural calcium bentonite clay, um, green clay, custom shrink wrap and non tear calcium bentonite clay security stickers. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Do not leave clay mask on skin longer than five to 10 minutes for delicate skin, as this may cause redness, drying. Slight redness of skin is normal and will disappear in about 30 minutes. Please conduct a forearm skin patch test prior. Sun dried, no fragrances, no animal testing, no animal products, no additives. That's cool. I support that wholeheartedly. Um, directions. Feel your face pulsate. Mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. 
Works best with apple cider vinegar. Ooh, I do not have that in my fridge right now. I need to get some more. Uh, use a non-metal bowl and utensil. Stir the mixture well to a smooth paste. Add more clear liquid as needed. Apply one eighth to a one quarter inch to the face or other area. How are you gonna have a quarter inch of this shit on your face? Okay. Let it dry for five to 10 minutes for delicate skin, 15, 20 for normal skin. You will feel a pulling and tightening sensation. Yeah. Feel your face pulsate. Remove clay by washing skin with warm water. Use once per week for normal skin, more often for problem skin. Baby. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't mind me making the videos? I'm not giving you attention. What's wrong, Stella? Product highlights, great for facials, body wraps, clay. Ooh, I never thought about that. Body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay for knee packs, and insect bites. Ooh, insect bites. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home, beauty and refresh. One pound of clay makes 10 to 15 facials. Right, cool. So it basically cleans your pores and makes your face uh, pulsate. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to just walk around like this for a while. And now we let it dry. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's dried. <laughs> It's weird, it feels like I like got Botox because I can't like really move my face muscles. <laughs> okay, so I washed it off. I just went in the shower. As you can see, there's a little redness. That's normal. <laughs> so yeah, that's my attempt at skincare for the day. Um, <laughs> these guys are what I just put on after the mask. Um, I'll be working with new people today at a, at a studio that's pretty new to me, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure I'm sure we'll find some interesting stuff to talk about while I'm in here. Um, you never know what today's gonna bring, so yeah. Okay, so it's Wednesday. I've successfully made it from Dallas to Fort Worth in the rain. Thankfully it didn't rain like as I was driving really. Thank fuck, cause I hate driving in the rain. But um, yeah, I'm at my job like <laughs> 40 minutes early. So I figured I would just blab for a second. Uh, yeah, did, this was a client that I did my own hair and makeup for today. Sometimes there's a hair and makeup artist, sometimes there's not. Um, in this case, there's not. Which is kind of cool. I mean, in some ways it's easier. It's fun both ways, I guess, but. People are like, why is this chick just talking to herself in her car? <laughs> just kidding, no one, no one knows I'm even here. Um, what am I doing today? I'm shooting boots today for a new client. Ooh, the rain just picked up. I don't have anything to say. I have to pee really bad because the drive was long. <laughs> it's real exciting shit happening. Anyway, yeah, another day shooting in a studio. That's my life. <laughs>
Okay, so it's like six or seven o'clock at night. I've been cleaning my house all day, sweeping dishes, laundry, <laughs> mopping, all that good shit, doing the litter boxes. I finally caved and bought some electric, like self-cleaning litter box. Um, and then today I just bought a second one because it's working now. I was like really resistant to switch over to that because uh, it seems so much more expensive, but it doesn't smell and like, it, um, yeah, it's just been better. It doesn't smell, it's making less of a mess, um, it's easier to clean, and yeah, overall I'm liking it, I'm happy with it. I'm willing to pay a little more if, uh, <laughs> if it makes that whole thing easier because my cats right now have just been, it's been gross. So, um, yeah, I'm onto this room of the house, which gets really crazy because I... Uh, pack up a bag full of clothes a lot of times to go to a shoot uh, so I'm constantly like, packing and unpacking all my shit like all my jewelry my costume jewelry and um, and shoes and everything so um, I'm once again doing that and still cleaning up from the last time so um, yeah this client tomorrow wants me to bring pretty much everything so I'm trying to figure out how to fit all these things in my bag. <laughs> um, I did recently get this cool bag though that um, I've been wanting something like this in forever or like kind of dreaming of it um, but just recently found that um, it has a like a hard line base on it and then it's a duffel bag up top and it's on wheels so you can roll it um, and then it has two sticks in it or three sticks in it that you can push up and make into a clothing rack it's a little weak you know it's not like a full sturdy clothing rack but it's still very helpful when i'm taking a bunch of clothes to my shoots and um want to be able to display them so that everyone can see what exactly i brought instead of it just being in like a big heaping you know pile in my bag so um yeah it goes like that and then a couple other it's come out. Um, yeah, I'll put a link to it. Got it off Amazon. So yeah, I'm packing that with a bunch of brooms right now, basically. What's up guys? It's Tuesday. It's trash day, which means I forgot to put the trash out. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get caffeinated right now and clean my fucking house because it is once again out of- My house is either really spotless and clean and great or it's fucking disgusting. And right now it's fucking disgusting, so. I'm trying to get caffeinated. I've just got Bob Ross playing in the background, hopefully, hope, hoping that I'll pick up painting tips as I go. Um, yeah, stay in my kitchen right now. It's just gonna be a fucking blast. Anytime I leave, like we leave, like anything napkin on the floor or something, fucking, or one of our cats Stella pees on it. So that's fucking great. So fun for us. Um, maybe I'll just time lapse this. <laughs> So I just got back from the salon, the nail salon, sweet nail bar. Um, and I just did like a dip over my regular nails this time. Keep it natural for my modeling work. And some natural toes. We can probably take that out. <laughs> anyway, uh, they, they did a great job. They're super, super good there. Did a little hot, hot wax, stone massage on the feet. Felt so good because I was, after these dance gigs, like my feet just cannot handle it anymore. Uh, I like have to go and do something for my feet afterwards. Anyways, um, what else are we doing today on this fine Monday? We did not put deodorant on. 
<laughs> we're gonna go straight from energy drink to beer because you know health uh no actually i haven't eaten yet today because i have my energy drink instead of food god it's sunny outside i just want to lay out but i shouldn't i'm waiting on confirmation emails so like when you're a model you get um an email to your agency usually like hey we're gonna hold you for these days this client is thinking about booking you and then um um later they'll confirm or they'll say you know you got dropped you didn't you didn't get picked this time or whatever so i'm waiting on some emails i'm on hold the next i was on hold today and i didn't get booked today so um i'm waiting to see if i'm booked the next couple days i know i'm booked thursday but yeah Um, I've been going to this place in Richardson called Sweet Nail Bar, um, and they've they've been good every time. I haven't had any issues there. They do get busy, but um, but they've they've been great. I've en I've enjoyed my experience, and the staff has been been nice and done a good job every time. So anyway, um, I keep going back there. Um, I didn't really ever used to get my nails done until like. I don't know a year ago I realized oh yeah that's kind of part of this job uh, maybe I should be doing that so we're working on it it is nice it's fun to do but then also like if I get the long one it's like they're good for different things like I like not having nails so I can like play guitar and shit and then like just feel kind of like I don't know my more childlike self and then I like having like the long scratchy like pointy ones because like oh my god the back scratches y'all or the arm scratch, just the scratches. I love it. I love having claws like a cat. That sounds so fucking lame every time I fucking say it. I just feel like, what's her name from It's Always Sunny? <laughs> Dennis's cat girlfriend. Anyway, all right. I should be driving. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? It's Tuesday, um, September 14th. I am getting ready to go do a hula hoop gig. Um, it's a circus theme at The Lodge Dallas. Um, it's a burlesque strip club. And um, I guess it's a strip club more, but like, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, I've never been there before. I've had a friend that used to do the girls makeup there, a makeup artist friend. Um, they worked there for a long time and I've heard different things about it, but I've never been to this club myself. So I'm curious to see how it is. Um, and yeah, that's really, it. I've been resting my, <laughs> icing my foot and ankle and shit because, um, my shin and my ankle have been fucked up since I did my other gigs last week. Um, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> I might be drinking a beer. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, just gonna go like figure out my clown. It's like circus theme, so I have to go figure out clown makeup and put that shit on and get my ass to the club. Okay, now that I'm dressed up, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to go. Going up on a Tuesday over here. So anyways, yeah, I went to this place last night and I danced and it was fun and uh, everyone was super cool. I wasn't sure what to expect. I had read some kind of like iffy reviews online, um, but they were super friendly, method owners and everything. What are you doing? What? Why is she, what? Ew. Yeah, and then um, I was sitting there talking to or meeting the owners at a table and there was like a smaller pole stage, like the side stage. And they were like, so like, you gonna get up and pull? And I was like, oh shit, like I didn't prepare for this. Like I wasn't wearing stripper heels. I was just kind of wearing like some chunky boots. Did you hear this girl? What is wrong? You better come here. 
Anyway, I was not prepared for that. I didn't know I was going to go on the pole, but I wound up doing it and um, and had a blast. Like, I don't know. It was fun. So, yeah, I want to do it again, I think. It's weird because literally, I don't know about like manifestation and shit, but I kind of do believe like speak it into existence kind of thing. So like literally a week ago, I was sitting with a friend and was like, you know what, fuck it, I think I just want to be a stripper. I literally put that out into the universe like a week ago and here I am sp randomly, like spontaneously having people be like, so you're going to go get on our pole and like you need to do this. And like, I wasn't even me really. It was like, yeah, I showed up to the club, but like, I wasn't expecting to do that at all. I thought I was just gonna like hula hoop dance and lightly at the front and like host, you know, whatever, get people in the door and shit and just like greet people. And um, no, I wound up, <laughs> I wound up on stage. I wound up getting the money gun spit at me. I wound up meeting all kind of people. Um, met a lady that does body paint. It's like, I wanna paint you, here's my card, you know. Um, so yeah, like made some cool contacts. Um, the owners were nice. The club was cool. I liked it. And, um, my friend who makes light up stripper poles, I forgot that his pole is at this place. So I went upstairs and saw that and that made me really happy because I'm like, oh my God, it's Kevin's pole. So, uh, got to dance on that finally, uh, <laughs> which was cool. Although like I'm super awkward. I'm not a stripper. So like I'm not used to, I'm used to dancing for myself not necessarily like, catering to the gentlemen or, or the ladies, whoever in the room. And um, and so it was like, oh, it was kind of like a, I don't know, a switch for me of like, oh yeah, I'm working, I forgot. I'm not just like fucking around on the pole here. <laughs> like I've heard things from like stripper stories, like, I don't know, making nothing one night and then making three grand another night. And I guess it depends who your clients are, who's coming in, you know. What, what all's going down, so I don't know. But um, yeah, that was my first like time being in a strip club where I wasn't just like a patron, you know, I was I was a worker, so. Um, well, except one other time I hula hooped and, and go-go danced at um, Spearmint Rhino in Dallas. But, but yeah, this was my first time hopping on a pole in a strip club and uh, I fucking liked it. <laughs> so yeah, and everyone was cool. See, and the girls there were super hot, FYI, if you go there. Um, so, what else, what else, what else? Oh my god, and then my friend who does makeup wound up being there. And we all went out to the tin room, which I never, I think I've heard the name of it, but I had never been there. And it's just like a tiny, like, kind of tin, like, it's like a dive bar, but it's also got stripper poles. And it's like definitely a, a very gay scene, but it's a pride scene. Um, so yeah, people there were cool. We were all turning up to, to Megan the Stallion and whatnot. Um, they, they played her for like a solid hour straight, like just like every Megan the Stallion song. <laughs> um, so yeah, the gays be loving Megan. And yeah, it was just like cool to bond with some friends that I don't, um, I, <sighs> It's weird because you'll work with people for a decade and never hang out with them off the clock. And then like, oh my God, like hanging out with someone off the clock was just like this person. I don't know. Like I just, it was, there was a lot of love and it was good to like see them in a different, um, you know, in a, in a friendly environment, not just at work. So yeah, I had a good night on a Tuesday randomly. And, um, uh, my, uh, perception is continually changing as far as like erotic work goes you know so yeah <laughs> I liked it I felt like I was where I was supposed to be and now I'm just like curious about all the other clubs in Dallas and what are they like and how much can you make there and who works there but it, the, like the money part was cool but like honestly there was like it was just a lot of like interesting interaction, like like spiritual. I feel like something was happening. Um, maybe it's just because one guy called me his angel, but <laughs> but anyway, all right. Um, I had a cool time, and the strippers are hot, and they're mostly some of them. I got a little catty vibe from, but um, maybe that was just I don't know. We didn't have enough time to meet. 
but other other girls were super cool and super chill and very hot so yeah i like strippers yep yep who doesn't you know uh what's my point i don't know i had fun that was that's my point randomly on a tuesday and i'm so glad that i'm off today although at night like that honestly like it should make me more tired and just like want to chill but when I have fun and I'm like connecting with friends and, and new people and shit like that, it just like recharges me too. Like, I just wanna, I don't know. Like, I feel kind of inspired right now. So anyway, feeling the love. Stew. <laughs> ramble, ramble, ramble. I don't know, I'm not good at making vlogs. So I just like ramble. Anyway, I've got my waters now. Cause there was a lot, there was a lot of whiskey involved. in my evening last night so yeah met a lot of cool people <laughs> anyway i'm just gonna lay around and eat and watch tv today figure out what my next move is i guess maybe edit a vlog Johnny Knoxville doing right now. Okay, neither bye. Um, yeah, so I had a cool experience at the strip club. I'm liking it. My uh I'm curious though, spending more and more time in that environment. I don't know, I guess it's all about setting your own boundaries and knowing how to um you know, stand up for yourself if you need to. Or only give what you want out as a dancer. Like if, if you want to go and do something with someone, cool. But if you don't, you know, that's, it's, it's the thing is it's like empowering in the fact that it's like your choice to be there and do whatever it is you're doing and have whatever exchanges you're having. Um, so I, I see nothing wrong with that. I guess, I guess in the past or like being from an outsider or like maybe like a, I don't know, like a sheltered suburban girl's view. Um, I just assume like people are being mistreated in that environment. Women are, be are being mistreated, which I'm sure does happen. But, um, you know, if you're smart and you can stand up for yourself, like I don't, I don't see a problem being there. Uh, which I think all those girls that I saw the other night probably were cool. So I don't, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Blah, 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 blah. I'm probably not even gonna post this. But anyway, my point is I had fun and I liked it. So thanks, thanks everyone that was cool last night and made me feel welcomed in in the club. That club has been calling my name for years. Like, I, I don't know, it's just like been on my mind. I've been curious about it, but I've never gone. And I've, you know, always heard things about it. Oh, and I've always heard that the food there was really good. Like everyone's always like, oh man, the food there's so good. I didn't really believe it. Cause I'm like, I don't know, it's a strip club. Like how good could the food be? But dude, their buffet was lit. Like they had fucking a bunch of shit and it all looked good. I had no appetite cause I was nervous and shit. And I had like chugged an energy drink before walking in, but <laughs> um, cause I get nervous in new environments. I'm, I'm real sensitive. I will pride myself on. <laughs> At one point I got overheated cause I was wearing a wig and shit and I just danced my little heart out. And um, <laughs> I went to the bathroom to, cause I was like, <gasps> You know, I'm like getting gaggy. I'm too hot and shit. I'm like, oh fuck. I had to like take my wig off in the bathroom. And like, there's this um, artist, this uh, rapper named Big Clit. And she has a line in one of her songs that says, uh, calm down, regulate, calm down, regulate. Cause bitch, I ain't got the time today. And when I get anxiety now and I start getting gaggy, I'm feeling like I'm gonna throw up. That line, I've, I've tried to um, make that a, a thought process, a habit in my head. And that line has been fucking helping me because it cracks me up. I'll start like freaking out and want to do my whole like anxious freak out vomit thing, eating disorder thing, whatever you want to call that. And um, 
I'll just try to tell myself to breathe and then I'll hear that I'll sing that shit to myself in my head like calm down regulate cuz bitch I ain't got the cuz I really do not have the time you know <laughs> I do not have the time for these anxious freakouts it's fucking annoying so um yeah I don't know something about that line and, and repeating that to myself and it did it helped me calm down because it, it makes me laugh and um I didn't throw up <sighs> not throwing up is cool um <laughs> throwing up fucking sucks and I hate just like I get in this triggered anxious state where I just I'm weak I'm weak okay I'm a weak bitch what do you want from me <laughs> um oh yeah just took my took my little minute um side note wearing a wig to go stripping not the best idea uh, a it's hot and probably itchy sometimes it looks great it looked cool loved loved the look but uh, I definitely went to do what's called cross knee release and go flip upside down on the pole and that fucking bitch <laughs> my wig just went like right off and so then all I had was a fucking wig cap on so then I'm like out there looking bald not there's anything wrong with rocking a bald look I love it but um, you know, wig cap wasn't the look I was going for. It wasn't sexy. So I like flip upside down and it comes up and I get up. And I can just hear some bitches in the corner like laughing. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm laughing too though. It's whatever. I wind up just sitting there and like taking the whole thing off and putting my hair in a ponytail and like not giving a fuck. And some dude gave me like $40 <laughs> in the process of doing that. I was literally doing nothing. Like, you know, no one was touching me. I wasn't doing anything but like putting my hair in a ponytail and I made $40. So that was cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, I forgot your name. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, good times, good times. <laughs> this shit is funny. Woo, I have a feeling I'm about to make a lot of cool memories at this club, so I can't wait to take everybody there. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, so that was my Tuesday. I don't know what I'm about to do with this Wednesday. I'm just kind of resting right now. Let me work on this. And, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Love you, <ya>, bye. <laughs>